Hello, St. John's. It's Chris Roussel and Ben Kogel. Today is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021, and this is our weekly update. Uh, so tomorrow night, Ben, you and I have the privilege and the honor and the opportunity to celebrate the new ministry of Gail Goldsmith, who is the new rector at Trinity Boonsboro. Mm -hmm. So the bishop comes and installs folks, uh, installs rectors, and that's a great celebration. There are prayers that, um, that the bishop prays, which we will pray as our, as our prayer this morning. <clears throat> it gives me the opportunity to say and announce that this past weekend was my two-year anniversary of being rector at St. John's. Oh my gosh. Now, you That's might awesome. recall, I know you'll remember this, and I know they'll remember this, that when I started, Bishop Mark had just started his sabbatical. Mm -hmm. So my first three months here, Bishop Mark was on sabbatical, and so we did not do the um, celebration of a new ministry until December okay. of 2019. Well, little did we know what, what lay ahead for us at the time that we got started. So Allison and I celebrate and uh, are grateful for your love, encouragement, and support um, as we enter into our third year of being with you all. So by way of prayer, let's see if this will work. By way of prayer, I'm gonna offer the prayer that the bishop will pray for Gail, and we'll, we'll pray for Gail as well. Ever living God, strengthen and sustain Gail that with patience and understanding, she may love and care for your people and grant that together they may follow Jesus Christ, offering to you their gifts and talents through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now you have a special connection with Gail, don't you? I do, Gail is my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome, that is great. Yeah. Uh, just super, super folks, and we're excited to be part of that. Uh, you, I'll let you have that. Thank you. Uh, you have a couple of things you need to announce. I do, yes. In your email inboxes, youth and parents and families, is the information about our diocesan mission trip. It's less than a month away, August 1st through 7th. We're going out to Grace House, and I am super excited, and I hope that some of y'all will join me. Uh, Grace House is in the Appalachian Mountains about three hours from here and our neighbors out there really need some help especially after a year of pandemic living. Um, if you didn't see that email for any reason you're not on the youth and family list on Realm or whatever uh, just send me an email or reach out to me and I'll be happy to get you the information to sign up. That sounds pretty awesome. I do hope that you guys will will uh, participate and sign up and um Get out there, and this really is mission work, right? Um, Absolutely. Just because we're not leaving the diocese or the state doesn't mean it's not mission work. It is definitely mission work. And uh, I will tell you that our new director of youth and family ministries is committed to mission work, uh, not only locally, but she's done mission work internationally. And I know that Sarah Weatherly is, is looking forward to relaunching our commitment at St. John's to being a missional parish. 525 of you watched the interview that I did with Sarah last week, and I thank you for that. Uh, we're thrilled and excited that she'll be getting started on August 1st. So pray for Sarah as she uh, begins to transition into our staff and onto our, and onto our team, and I look forward to introducing you in person and um, seeing where God is going to lead us from this point and into the future. Mm -hmm. I've, I've got one more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yes. Uh, on Monday, Monday evening at seven o'clock will be the first of our three summer lectures on how we read scripture. Now I learned how to read scripture in seminary. Well, before seminary actually, but I learned how a lot better uh, with my professor, Dr. Colin Cornell. He taught me one unit of Old Testament, one unit of New Testament, and about five other classes, uh, electives that I took. Uh, Dr. Cornell will be joining us via Zoom for this first lecture. Um, so you can come in person in McGill to watch and participate in the conversation, or you too can join by Zoom if you're not ready to come back in person or if you've got to be home to be with the kids or whatever it is. So I'm really look looking forward to that. Um, and so is Dr. Cornell, and so are all of us. So he was actually the person who preached at your diaconate ordination. Yes, he was. So if you saw my ordination, you knew how awesome the sermon was, and he will be giving, hopefully, an equally awesome lecture on Monday. You know, one of the things that the pandemic has afforded us the opportunity to do is for all of us to get comfortable with using Zoom. And by being able to use Zoom and being comfortable with it, 
gives us the opportunity to invite people like uh, like your your professor and for him to be with us virtually uh, but yet live so that we can interact and ask questions um, that's pretty exciting that's a that's somewhat of a it new is. development at St. Oh, John's absolutely. But, but in the church in general right yeah mm -hmm. We are going to be hosting a few, stu a couple of stewardship dinners that'll be coming up uh, Sunday, August 29th, and Wednesday, September 1st. You'll have the option to attend one of the two. Uh, we do need to get together and have this conversation about stewardship and um, how much we depend upon your generosity. Uh, this is something that was done years ago under a previous rector and it was met with great success and, uh, and we want to do it again. The Stewardship Committee is heading that up. I know you keep hearing me say that we will be launching the logo very soon. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of moving pieces. Ben and I were part of the, uh, so the logo development team has evolved into the logo launch team. Mm -hmm. And the folks that we have working on this have some e amazing ideas. Involves videos and billboards and all kinds of different ways in which we want to launch this new symbol of who we are and what we're about. And so I ask for a little bit more patience. Uh, it'll be a big splash. It'll be a resurrection moment for St. John's when we do have this big reveal. So it'll be coming. It'll take uh, probably be another month or so before we actually land on the reveal. Uh, Ben and I have talked about doing a podcast. Yeah. Now, I said in a previous video that I didn't know the difference between a hashtag and a podcast. I haven't even told you this yet, but thank you so much for telling me about the West Wing Weekly podcast. Oh, yeah? Where, yeah, where, uh, <laughs> where they go through and they talk about each West Wing episode on each episode of the podcast. I am addicted to this thing. It is so <laughs> awesome. So now I have a sense of what a podcast is. So at some point, either today or tomorrow, Ben and I will have to sit down and we'll have to map out yeah. how we want to do a podcast. Well, what, it'll probably be just kind of like this, you know. Oh yeah. Not 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 doing the announcements portion, but just you know playing off of each other and just having conversation about things and talking a lot about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Because our favorite, our favorite, yeah. Because <laughs> we're both buddies of his. So yes. All right, that's it. That's all I've got. Thank you. Do you have anything else? We'll see you Wednesdays at 12.10 for chapel, yes. noon Eucharist. Yes. We'll see you Sunday mornings for Sunday morning church, and we'll see you Monday night for the lecture. Awesome. I think that's it. All right, God bless you. See you, everybody. Thanks so much.